So we're Travel Devoted. I'm Cody. I'm Liz. And, and welcome to <laughs> Tokyo. Tokyo. Tokyo, Japan. This is, what is it, Cody? Tsukiji Fish Market. Yeah, Tsukiji. It's been in Fish operation market. for eight decades at this location. So as you can see, that's me in the pink hat, by the way. Um, this is the outside kind of like a warehouse market where you can buy like a lot of the ingredients that they have in the fish market. You see that totally legit guy with that headband? Tons of crabs. Look at those crabs are ginormous. So cool. Like this is like the seafood unbelievable, okay? Huge stuff. So the outside market is the perfect place to get breakfast, eat some sushi, get a snack before the real fun starts. Liz had an awesome uh, sushi bowl. It was pretty cheap. So if you get sushi, it's cheap. If you want to get crabs and... Uh, Clams and oysters and stuff. It's a little more. I'm probably saying I'm hungry right here. Like, it's time to eat. We got done touring the outdoor market. So the big indoor fish market opens at 9 a.m. to tourists. Try to stay out of the way of the forklifts. They're going to be going crazy. They're driving all over the place. Right, Liz? Yeah, sometimes I get kind of mad at you. So just a couple of quick tips. Uh, don't wear your favorite pair of shoes. Wear shoes. Or you might get fish guts on them. Uh, don't touch anything. You might have to buy it, and this stuff is not cheap. And it's, you know, all fishy and stuff, so you probably shouldn't touch it. Oh, there's me. I look kind of angry, but I'm probably trying to just do something creative. You're probably trying to figure out how to turn the camera off. Probably. You see that guy cutting up that fish? That's crazy. <gasps> There's Cody! I'm towering over the Japanese like Godzilla. Godzilla returns. Obviously, I'm short, so everyone's in my way, but... All of those white boxes are, like, filled with fish, crabs... We should get a couple good looks at it, so once we kind of get our get our way out of the crowds, you'll be able to see. And inside, it's kind of tight. You're kind of walking around people, getting in people's ways, forklift trying to come by. Because, well, people are legit buying, like, their groceries over here, you know, so it is a little busy. So just try and try to just, you know, be gracious and... Don't get too much in people's way, because people really are trying to, like, buy their stuff over here. Look at that big old fish right there. Is that a fish? Yeah. <gasps> and if you see in the background, there's a uh, fish samurai. The butchers here use like huge samurai knives. Look at this guy. Holy smokes. I can't even imagine how much that big chunk costs. That's probably so good though. You definitely get this really weird, holy that guy's hacking away. You get this really, like, deep sense of, like, the ocean and the animals, and it's kind of terrifying. Whoa. So some of the people, they don't like to be photographed. They'll tell you to get and go away. But this guy was pretty cool. Because there was a crowd of people watching him. See, he's telling somebody to get back. He's in the way. I'm having a good time. Hi! Ooh. Oh, I'm 
about to eat some of these fish eggs. Going for it. <laughs> like it. <laughs> it was pretty good, actually. Like, I kind of thought it was going to have no flavor, but it actually tasted not bad. Now it could be starting. Yeah, I'm a little more subdued than Liz. <laughs> if you can't already tell. Oh, Ew! sorry. Oh uh, my gosh. Forgot about that part. Some swordfish heads. Oh, here comes the tuna ninja. There he is. <gasps> yeah, we stopped and watched this guy for a while. Just love those knives, man. Those things. <laughs> those are serious. Look at all these fish heads. Here he goes. He's like lining it up, the perfect cut. It's like butter. Well, this guy got two knives. This is one of the strangest creatures I've ever seen. So if somebody knows what that is, let, let us know in the comments. There's this guy taking out a flounder. I think he shoves like a coat hanger like in its brain to like make it die like instantly. Aww. It's kind of sad, but Somebody's got to do it. You like flounder, don't you? That's Ariel's best friend. <laughs> so if you've seen anything about uh, whales and whaling, like on that whale war show. There it is. This is the place where they sell the, the there, meat. That's it right there. That's the meat. So now you can probably realize why they say Tsukiji is... A little controversial and infamous. It didn't even look that good to me. It looks really like fatty. This guy's cleaning eels. So they put like a nail through their head, then they run the knife down the body. These fish are still alive. Talk about fresh. You want to talk about fresh. So thanks for watching, y'all. We're, we're headed out in this clip. And uh, Tsukiji is awesome. That's like our number one recommendation for Tokyo. Yeah, it was pretty amazing, and we know that you'll love it too. And if you visit Tsukiji, please message us at TravelDevoted.com, and we'd love to hear about your trip and what you thought about it. So thanks, guys. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.